Well, hello there, Gemini. It looks like a realization hits that changes life as you know it. Let's dig in to see what you do with it. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Gemini tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended, there's a link to it in the description box below. Oh, one cut, please. Thank you. How much good can you handle? Number 39, that reduces down to a three. Explore the upward spiral of grace. I could feel the sigh of relief with that. What would your higher self do? Number 20, reduce to a two. You are divinity and blue jeans. So step two and three. Beginning of a new cycle, operating from a point of intuition, from higher self connection. Hence the grace. This feels fantastic, but it feels like it's coming. On the piggyback of exhaustion. Yeah. On the piggyback of exhaustion. Um, possible financial. Or because of a Taurus. <laughs> Not to blame anybody. But it's possible for somebody. Um, like this. Like if you've been telling yourself. You know when can I catch a break. The break hits. Okay. The break hits. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Show me what's going on with Gemini, please. Okay. Three of Swords, we got some in internal turmoil here, huh? Let's see what we get with it. Queen of Wands. Devil card of Capricorn. Six of Cups. Tower card of Scorpio. Oh, shit. Okay. Empress card of Taurus and Libra. Oh, moon. Oh, my God. Pisces energy is sort of... Oh, shit. Okay, it's that kind of day. <laughs> Where's my tea? I'm going to need a swig of this before we dive into this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's go time. I'm reading. This is you. This is them. This is the situation. This particular tower, I, I don't, this feels like a Gemini energy who, in contrast to operating in a high vibration now, there was a lower vibration that you operated in, in which you subscribed to certain ideals, okay, certain generalizations, manifestos, whatever, and you subscribe to those and operated your life according to those ideals that were based in a place of lower vibration. Because of that, you thought an empress as purely a temptation, but they were actually a legitimate divine counterpart soul bond. Okay. Transformation has hit you. Tower blowing through the moon and the devil. Um, causing upset to foundation to shake away the old. So this higher vibration style of mental and emotional operation can take root moving forward. Something happened where you became a new person. This is what this tower allowed, blasting the rest of this apart. Okay. So it's now that you, it's now that you see like the blinders are off that this old way of being provided certain kinds of blinders in life. Okay. Now that the blinders are off and it's like, Oh, it's, Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's not what she was. She was, she, she wasn't a temptation. She wasn't something to fear. She wasn't something to back away from. She was something to move toward. Okay. Yep, didn't want to see it. Gave very little to it, if anything at all. Held back from it. Big time. Leo energy underneath there. Held back from it big time. 
Ouch. Realizing something like this is quite like the emotional whiplash. Okay. It it, it is. It is. Because you're a you're completely different person. Who you are becoming is completely di- different to who you've been. Show me the Queen of Wands, the details of the Queen of Wands, please. Judgment, yep. Ace of Cups. Hangman. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles there underneath. It's realizing that this person was actually a long-term thing, realizing that there was more emotion there than you wanted to actively pursue. Can you show me why? You were having a good time with the way life was, or at least you you were telling yourself that. You were convinced based on this old manifesto, this previous version of you, this old way of being, that you were content in the way things were. Anything else would feel restrictive. You're swearing to me up and down this previous version of you, Gemini, that you were living life exactly how you wanted to and there was no other way you would ever want to. Fair. This is the previous version of you speaking. That was your truth at the time. That's fair. That's totally fair. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil. Two of Cups wanted to pop out there. Oh, you ran away from it. Quite literally, for some of you. Got in the car or boarded a plane, train, automobile, whatever. Seven of Wands, Chariot, Card of Cancer. King of Cups, Card of Scorpio. You could have fled to a water sign. You could have fled to a water sign. How does this King of Cups view Gemini? How does this King of Cups view Gemini? They view you, okay, so this this is back to that previous manifesto version of you. Um, they're under the impression <clears throat> that even if you are together in any capacity, that you operate as a solo energy. So kind of like a kind of like a taken person acting single. Kind of like a taken person acting single. But this is something they're confessing without their whole chest. They're doing it with a page of wands to like sneak it in there. Show me, so so they they don't want to say, oh, they don't want to say. Oh, okay. Plot thickens, all right, let's keep going. Show me the tower. Gemini, please show me the tower. <laughs> Sorry. Seven of swords. King of swords, Aquarian energy. Temperance card of Sag, three of pentacles. You don't want anyone on God's green earth to know that this tower has hit you. You don't want anyone to know you've had a life-changing moment, that anything has changed, that you are exactly the same. Happy-go-lucky, carefree cavalier. You don't want anyone to know as you take your sweet, precious time, which is probably smart, to review what this thing was that you dubbed as a three of cups when it was a six of cups empress. Okay. It's kind of like got it. Okay. It's kind of like winning like the lottery here in the U S or the Powerball being the grand prize winner and like losing the ticket like a day past the day you can claim the grand prize before it expires, then you find the expired ticket in your glove box and you you go, I just lost out on $200 million. And you don't want anyone to know. Wow. Usually it's Scorpio that comes with the drama, but you guys are bringing it today and I'm here for it. Show me the moon, please. Show me the moon. Two of wands, four of swords. I don't want you don't you don't want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Y- mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'd be I'd be trying to cover this up too. <laughs> Damn. There's now staring. Okay, as you as this higher vibration starts to come in, you're now staring healing in the face. Processing and healing in the face. Whether it's um, typical societal form like therapy, whether it's a spiritual practice, whatever it is, you know that in order to heal, it will take some work. And you're not telling anyone about this choice you're teetering on, on if you're going to step into that fully. Yeah, once the tower hits, you can't, you can't unhit the tower. You can't. You can't unhit the tower. You might be able to prop it up for a time before it completely falls on your head. Yeah, sure. But you, no, you, you can't unhit the tower. Once it's hit, it's over. Either in a good way or a bad way. Okay, that depends. Ooh, expired lottery ticket. I'm going to see if I remember that to title of your video. Okay. Let's get into this person and see what's going on. Show me the six of cups for this person. Ace of cups, yep. Eight of coins. Ah, page of coins, seven of cups. Empress then again on the bottom. Taurus and Libra energy. So this person knew early on that you were a soul bond, that you were some sort of meant to be, okay? And the love came very easy. The love came, it really does with soul bonds, which which is, is, it's a beautiful feeling, but it could also be a big problem, right? Because even if someone has a soul bond, they still have to be vetted. Okay. Um, this person saw the potential, the abundance of the connection, but they also learned with all the rainbows and unicorns facet of it that the flip side was they concluded that they were an option in your life. And that's when connection became confusing for them. Show me the Empress, please. Ten of Cups. Oh, jeez. Queen of Coins. Oops. Card of Gemini. Hierophant Card of Taurus. This was the end all be all. I'm getting Twin Flame vibes here. Empress, Ten of Cups, Lovers, yeah. Yeah. Heavy on the Earth sign energy. Heavy on the Taurus. Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Earth. Heavy on the Taurus energy. This is, this is, the only thing, the only thing that's missing is the sun. It's like this, this is as happy as it gets, guys. This is, this is as ideal counterpart the one that is strong, that is of house and home, that is stable and loving and all the all all these beautiful things. All these beautiful things. Show me the ace of swords. Is, is this, I'm I can feel the solace, is why I kind of went quiet there. I could feel the solace. Show me the Ace of Swords. They moved on quietly after waiting for too long. They moved with their head held high. They moved on with their head held high. What you would say an offer or lack of offer would start to fall on deaf ears. They, They set a boundary of for how long they would believe you, for how long they would trust, give you time and space to come around. They they put an expiration date on that. And they then they were true to it. And they were true to it. Okay. 
now that Gemini has this massive realization that you can't undo, what do you want moving on from this, moving forward from here? You want to reconnect with them. But you don't know what to offer. Someone's terrified to be a husband or a spouse. Capricorn Taurus energy again. Sorry, Aries Taurus Capricorn energy. Someone is terrified of... Because... This person over here, remember, acknowledged you as being with them, but a solo energy. Okay, so maybe your commitment only runs so deep. Because this is telling me you like to be in control in a certain kind of way. But for some reason, commitment means none of that, or that you're being controlled. That's something else to heal. Okay. Show me three of cups, three of swords. There's something here where it's a kind of third party wound where it's showing me that um um three three three. So it's it's a third party of some variation, whether you had a full on affair or just friend zone this person or whatever. Um this is showing me that there's a third party wound for you to recover from as well. They have to recover from separately. Yeah, that's that's their business. We're talking about you. Um, that you draw excitement from attention from multiple others, and you you are some sort of sad without it. That's something you need to fix before you can move into commitment. Okay, that's something you need to fix before, not during, not after, before. You owe that to yourself and your future partner. Okay. okay. What's the outcome of this relationship with Gemini and this King of Cups? Emperor again. You know you have to make a choice on this. A definitive choice. You keep going back and forth between the old way of being of, wait, this person allows me to get away with whatever I wish. Anything else, I would be required to step up and be more. Not do more, be more. See, there are some things to heal, doll, Okay, before you get into next relationship. Aries, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy for those of you keeping track. It's always good to have some sort of map on what it is to help ourselves about on heal, process, whatever. Because then then we have a direction. Maybe it terrifies you to have direction. These are all things to review. These are very important things. Okay. I'm going to head over the extended. Since no matter what, you seem so transfixed by this empress. I will see what's going on with her in her current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.